So, what do you want to do today? You want to eat at McBucks? God damn, I haven't eaten at McBucks in forever. I also wanted to know about that dream. Y you know. Shut the hell up, he's right there! Sorry. I'll tell you later. Morning class, I hope you guys have done your writing assignment. I know it's the first week of school, but that doesn't mean I'll take it easy. This class is to be taken seriously, so stay on top. Let's get to it. Hey, Skylar. How do you like the new school? Honestly, better than I expected. I never knew that I could meet Maggie on the first day. You two knew each other beforehand? Yeah. We met at an MMO game. I don't remember which one, but we met there and we just became close. Well, at least you met previously. If you didn't know anyone, you probably would have been lost. Go, go to your next class, you'll be late. Hey, there's an open seat. Are you gonna grab some food? No, I'm good. Alright, I'll be right back. I have to tell her the truth. She needs to know what happened in the dream. Alright, let's talk. How do you like the school? Honestly, so far so good. I actually like this school a lot. What are you thinking about? Oh, nothing. Are you sure? I'm sure. I just want to talk to you about the dream. We can talk about that later. I want to talk about your experience at the school. Better than I expected. I thought people would bully me since I'm a new student. This school is strict on bullying terms and all that. Really? Definitely. For some reason, I'm suspicious about that girl. Who? The one next to Matt? Yeah, that girl. That's Haley. I used to be friends with her back in freshman year, but things happened between the two of us, and so I kind of ended the friendship. You guys have a good one time edit ended the friendship. I remembered you telling me about that last year. Didn't know a pretty girl like her could cause trouble. Haley is classified as the perfect girl. She thinks that she's so perfect because of her and her popularity. Popularity? How popular is she? She's kind of popular, but I wouldn't screw with her. Hmm. <laughs> when I met her on the first day, she was a little off. What do you mean? I just have a bad feeling about her. Eh, I wouldn't worry about her. She's just a douchebag. Okay, I do want to talk to you about the dream I had because I'm confused on what I am. Alright, let's talk about it. What I remembered was that you and Matt both met each other outside of school and then hung out? Yeah, that sounds about right. I have remembered in the dream that I wanted to talk to you about Matt, and you told me to go out with him. Okay, I didn't know I was a rushy in the dream, but anyways, I don't know what your dream was meant to be saying, but on what I believe, you figured out what you are and who your loved one's gonna be. Even if that's true, of all people, why him? I don't know. Have you ever felt this way before? Of course not. This is the first time that I've ever experienced something like this. Well, this is a confusing situation. See? Speaking of Matt, here he comes. Hey, guys. Hey, Matt. Hey, man, what's up? <laughs> Not much. I wanted to ask you guys if you'd like to hang out after school. It's fine, dude. Me and Maggie are going to hang out after school. We have to catch up on a lot of things. Oh, are you guys boyfriend and girlfriend? Oh, we're not. We're just really close friends. Yeah, we haven't hung out since Tuesday, so we're hanging out after school today. Ah, uh, I understand. I wanted to know a little bit more, that's all. Another time, man. Right now I want to spend time with Maggie. That's fine, man. We can hang out tomorrow. I'm fine with that. But why didn't you say yes? Because I want to hang out with you. Are you sure you don't have any, like, you know... That is something we could talk about later. So we're not going to order anything? I'm not, but you can if you want. Anyways, earlier at lunch, you said you were going to answer my question. So, 
My question is, do you like him? <sighs> so you do? Shh. I don't know if I do. It's just the beginning of the school year. I don't even know if this is love at first sight. Here is the real question. Are you part of the LGTBQ? I don't know if I am. I don't know if I do like him. But let's forget about that. We're here to hang out, and that's what I want to do. Skylar, you're my best friend. You know you can tell me anything. I know, I know. But I think it's best if I keep my mouth shut. Why? You always tell me stuff. I know, but this time I just don't want to say that I'm not comfortable saying. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, I'll believe you. So, you still want to eat? Nah, I think we should go to my place. Are you sure? I am sure of it. Skylar, please tell me the truth. Are you part of the LGBTQ? I thought I said to you that I'm not comfortable responding to that question. <sighs> okay. Do you like Matt? I... <sighs> I... I don't know. What was that? I don't... I don't know. It's hard to say. Look. I know what Matt is, but I promised him not to say anything. What do you mean by that? I know what his sexuality is. He was wearing a light brownish jacket. His hair is brown. I believe his hair had gel. Oh, yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, he's gay. <sighs> Skylar, are you okay? Is he gay? Wow, okay. I didn't actually expect you to get it right. How did you know? Remember about the dream I told you about? I had a flashback about you saying that. He hasn't told anyone but me. But since you are my best friend, I can trust you with a secret. I won't say anything to anyone. I do have this question. Do you have a problem with that Haley girl? Oh, you don't want to know what happened between me and her. Like you said earlier, you can tell me anything. I did say that, but right now, I want to focus on you. Why did you come to Paradise High? Why did you move away from your family? Do they need you right now? Is your mom okay? <sighs> want to tell you my story? I want to know the story between you and Haley. alright? Alright, done. To answer your first question, I wanted to come to Paradise High School because one, I wanted to come and see you and hang out with you. Also, this school is the most amazing school in the state. Number two, I had to move away from my family because of the current situation that is happening between me and them. I don't want to get in depth of the current situation. All you need to know is that it isn't pretty. Also, I needed a break from my parents and just stay away from home. But hell, I am enjoying this new home. And number three, do they need me right now? That I don't know. Maybe in the future. And number four... I I don't know if my mom's going to be okay. I don't I don't I don't want to talk about it. Okay, I'm sorry for asking that question. It's fine. It just means you care about me and my family so much. My mom would still like to meet you. I would like to see her as well. <clears throat> Anyways, are you going to tell me the story between you and Haley? Ah, oh, shit. Right. Are you ready? It is going to be a long story. I'm ready when you are. Okay. I've never told anyone this. Not even to my parents. Is that bad? Oh, it's that bad. You don't even want to know why I left my old school. Oh, now I am suspicious about it. No, no, no. You were going to tell me about you and Haley. Only after you tell me why you left your school. Ugh, fine. Press me that you would not tell anyone about what I'm going to tell you. As long as you don't tell anyone what happened between me and Haley. Even if I tell you the story, don't look at her differently. Alright, we both got a deal. The only reason why I've left my old school was because there was a rumor that spread about me. Are you serious? I am. 
I remembered that nobody wanted to talk to me after that rumor was spread around. Everyone treated me differently. Even my old friends that used to be close to me didn't want to be friends after. What was the rumor? I'm not going to get into the rumor. It was really fucked up. Are you sure? Yes! Please don't ask that question. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Sorry for raising my voice, but I just didn't want to get into that. But tell me the story between you and Hayley, please. Alright. It's a long story, so get your coffee ready. Alright, I'm ready. Spill the tea.